Victoria is in for a shock. Make no mistake, this will drive people into poverty. Social services worry those struggling to pay bills this winter will simply turn off the heating. Brendan Johnson hasn't been able to afford to run a heater in his Ballarat home for the past four years. It's difficult, I think it puts that added pressure on people. And I think people like me who are renting, there's not really many options that we have. People turn up in hospital with hypothermia because they are so cold because they've not put the heater on and some of those people die. In Victoria, about 15% of households are on the default offer. There are cheaper offers out there. There's also much more expensive contracts and some people are on those. Small businesses will also feel a pinch, slugged an extra $752. Households can access up to $500 in rebates from the state and federal government. That's fantastic. But it may not be enough to dampen the cost of living blows after the Premier raised land tax on businesses and landlords in Tuesday's budget. Is an attack on aspiration. It's an attack on enterprise. There's fears some landlords will sell or pass the cost on to tenants. Could have a very uh, disastrous effects going forward if it's not addressed. The Premier is urging landlords to write the increases off on tax, which will land with the federal government. Costing Australian taxpayers $3 billion over the next four years. The Andrews government's ninth budget is very much on brand. It taxes a section of the community that it says is doing well. But business has deep concerns that this will act as a handbrake on investment and jobs. Now is the time to make tough decisions. It's more than three years until the next election and they're up against an opposition that's in perpetual disarray. But there are now clear lines of attack for the coalition to prosecute on tax, on business and trying to find a home. Richard Willingham, ABC News, Melbourne.